Hello fam, welcome, it's your girl Chayomi. Today we are going to make akara or beans ball. A very delicious, crunchy on the outside, moist on the inside. It's very delicious, you can eat it any time of the day, especially for breakfast. You can have it for lunch. You can snack on it towards evening time. Comment section, tell me when you like to eat your akara and how you like to eat it. So for this recipe, we are going to use about three cups of black eyed peas. This is how the black eyed peas look. You can soak it overnight and then just press the beans and the skin will come off. Or you can put it in a blender and just on a, on a low speed, about 30 seconds, and the skin will come off. Later on, we can achieve from this to this. So after you have this cleaned out, we're gonna add some scotch bonnet. Just one piece to get that kick, but it's optional. You don't need to add that. We can also add about half onion cut. I use the white onions. I don't have the red onion handy, but you don't have to add any of this. But definitely you're gonna need some salt, about two tablespoons of salt, and some oil to deep fry. That's basically, don't add crayfish, don't add maggie, it's unnecessary. Beans itself has that authentic, natural taste when you add all that stuff it just makes it not eh, great trust me when you're making my mind you can add all those things like crayfish uh, bell pepper and blend it all up and maggie but for this recipe for akara you just need salt but the onions and the carbonara pepper for a kick is an optional okay so let's continue so it's time to blend. In a small blender, I added about half of the beans that we already cleaned. You don't really need to add water because you need that pastry um, feel. You don't need it to be too watery. So I'm just going to add a little drop of water just so the blender can move easily. We cover it up. I like to use this small bullet blender. It really gives you a nice texture, nice smooth pastry feel. On and hey guys this step you should not miss it this step is very important that fluffy acar that you get inside when you open it up the hand mixer is the key whisk your acar mixture for about five to ten minutes and then when it's time to fry, it will also float on top of the oil. Instead of sinking down, it will float because it's fluffy. And this is what you get after you whisk it for about five to 10 minutes. But if you don't have the hand mixer, feel free to use a regular whisker or a, a fork. Just, you just gotta work your muscle with the fork. Just keep turning it and turning it until about also 10 minutes and then you could achieve this. But without it, your akara is gonna sink in the oil and it will not have that fluffy effect you get when you open it up and when you wanna eat it. So that's it. At this time, we'll introduce the onion, the chopped onions, which is optional. You don't have to add this part. We can also add now the pepper that we chopped up earlier. This is gonna give you that kick, that hotness, the heat, and a dash of salt. That's about it. Just gently fold it all together nicely. And after you finish mixing it all up gently, it's time to deep fry your acar. Guys, I need you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed share like comment you know so my youtube channel can continue to grow i need your support what are you waiting for go ahead hit the subscribe button right now thank you so guys the oil is nice and hot at this moment so we are going to gently scoop akara mixture in the spoon and gently put them in the oil you can use an ice cream scooper in this process or you can just use a regular spoon like i'm doing but be sure not to overcrowd the oil. If not, the oil might start overflowing into your stove. That we don't want. So 
So remember to flip them around as you're cooking so that one side cook and you turn to the other side to get it even cooked. When it's golden color, then your akka is so ready to eat. That's all. So once it's golden brown, just like this, you can start scooping it out on a lined paper towel to soak up the essence oil. And then you just repeat the process until you finish all of your mixture. This is so, oh my gosh. My kids love this, guys. This can be enjoyed by any age group, children, adults, anyone, because it's full of protein. So once that is done, we continue to the next process until all the mixture is completely used up. So there you have it, guys. Our very own akara. Crispy on the outside, moist on the inside. Please subscribe to my channel, share, like, comment. Tell me how you like to eat your akara. We usually eat in the morning time for breakfast. You can have it with some pap. It's like cornstarch. Dazzle it with some nice carnation or pip milk and some sugar and you're good to go. Or you can have some agege bread, some soft buttered bread with it. So that's it. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone watching. See you next time. Bye.